Hey Melvin, ask you ah, this phone ah, worth buying or not? Hey, to be honest ah, phones nowadays I also don't understand ah. Why, why got phones 5-6,000 ringgit one nowadays? I really don't get it, right? Last time flagship phones are like what, 2-3,000 ringgit. But now flagship phones are like almost 6,000 ringgit, you know? Doesn't make any sense bro. Right, why would you buy a 5-6,000 six, six ringgit phone if you don't even use the full potential of it? Right, yeah, gigabytes and RAMs, you know, those are marginal gains. But do you really need all those marginal gains? I don't get it. Right, phone is a phone. But maybe some people are power users, like me, I'm a power user. Right, I use full, the phone I use is memang I use it to the max one. But most people probably use like, what, 70% of the phone's capacity, you know, capability, you know. Right, the other, you know, some people probably use only up to 50% of the capacity, cap capability of the phone. Right, not all will use all the gigabytes and RAMs that's required. So I don't get it also sometimes, bro. So, this is what I'm trying to say, right? Same thing, phones and bicycle. Why are bicycles so expensive? Huh? If, if I would really turn back the clock, a uh, bicycle last time, uh, a good bike is about, what, 20, 30,000 ringgit, you know, but now bicycle is going up to 60, 70, 80,000 ringgit, you know. Is the world going crazy? I don't know. You tell me. Um, I'm very happy to say that maybe, maybe Polygon created a flagship killer at fraction of the price. So let me show you what I mean. Hey, what's up you guys? Today I'm going to do a Polygon Helios review or ride impression I would say. I just came back from a long ride and 80km ride is not the longest I normally do but I think it's quite good lah. You know, three weeks I never ride. So today uh, Polygon loaned me this bike for a month to just uh, ask me to give it a try and ask me, you know, what do I think about the ride, right? Especially since I've tested I've ridden bikes from 7,000 ringgit all the way to 70 over 1,000 ringgit bikes, right? I've tested so many bikes, so I should be able to give a, 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 a decent uh, right impression, you know, whether does the product, you know, is it worth it? So this is where I'm coming from. Question is this, is it worth it? Because the Polygon bikes, are, I'm going to just run through with you. Uh, this current model that I'm given to test is the Polygon Helios A8, which is 10,999 ringgit, right? And this bike, it's amazing because for only about below 11,000 ringgit, uh, it comes with a carbon wheel set. Not this, this is my personal wheel set. I'll show you the carbon wheel set. It comes with this way. Check it out. Let me see. Yeah, see? N30 50mm wheels. What good value, you know? You, you actually, you know, you pay like 11,000 ringgit and you get already a bike that's upgraded with carbon wheel set. Why, why, why would I say, let me put this back. Okay, so why would I say this good value is because most people who buy a bike, uh, normally they will upgrade their wheel set as soon as they can. I, at 11,000 ringgit already comes with a carbon wheel set, there's nothing else to upgrade. So this is what I'm saying, this is what I'm trying to t uh, come at. I think my first right impression, I shouldn't say much about the riding, but I'm talking about the value. Here at 11,000 ringgit, I would say that this bike really, really, really gives a 20,000 ringgit bike uh, or uh, uh, 20,000 ringgit bike I really run for it money. Compared to, they have another one called the, which I'm very keen with the Polygon Helios A8X, which is below 18,000 ringgit. Uh. Why I say that's good, uh, uh, really value for money because it comes with the brand new um, Altega Di2 12 speed and with the 50mm entity carbon wheels and not only that, the one that I like is the integrated Vision 5D uh, integrated bar and that bar is beautiful that bar alone probably costs about what, 3 over 1000 ringgit or 3000 ringgit or, uh, around that, right? and also, the, the, the thing is this, you know imagine this, you know at the, the Polygon Helios A8X uh, at about 18,000 ringgit below uh, if you think about it, an Altegra Di2 12 speed is about 10,000 ringgit and the handlebar probably cost you another 3,000 ringgit, that's 13,000 ringgit, right? And 13,000 ringgit, let's say the carbon wheels cost about 3k, let's say 2 3k, okay? So you're talking about a value of about 16,000 ringgit that uh, already go to component, you know? Then the frame, you're only paying 1,000 ringgit. Oh my goodness, what good value! And when, when you talk about the frame, uh, it's even though you think that, you know, you buy the group set and components free frame, right? Don't get it wrong, you know? What I'm trying to tell you is this, you know, this frame uh, is damn good. 
Okay, I might be over marketing it, I might be trying to do a hard sell here, but I'm trying not to as well, but I'm just surprised how decent this frame is at that price. So, so this is my right impression, not, not to get a bit too complicated or technical about this bike, right? Uh, let's, let's, let's put away the components, the wheel set, the handlebars and the saddle and everything. But bear in mind that most of the components here are alloy, like the like the uh, like the uh, seat po uh, like the saddle, sorry, like the saddle and the stem here is all uh, aluminium. This one might be a this this handlebar also might be aluminium. Look. Went to OCI today and just weighed the bike la. It's 8.39 kg with the entity wheel la, the 50 mm entity wheel. I believe the 50 mm entity wheel should be about 1.8 kg. And bear in mind, all these are alloy components, you know. So if I compare to the Zentis Mark 3 SL, 7.96. So I was actually riding an 8kg bike last, 7.96kg with the Zentis Mark 3 SL. Yeah, I believe that if you upgrade some of the components here, you can easily hit 7.7kg. Hey, so how heavy is the bike now? This one, with everything in about 7.7kg. This bike weight is 7.7kg, so it's doable one. You can hit this bike at easily 7.7kg and it comes with this, right? I feel that Polygon actually created a flagship killer. That's my point of view, right? Why do I say it's a flagship killer? Is because at 10,000, 11,000 ringgit, uh, this bike really gives 20,000 to 30,000 ringgit bike uh, runs for its value. And if you buy the 17,000, 18,000 ringgit bike, which comes to Altrega Di2, uh, 12 speed, and the and the Met, uh, Vision Metron every handlebar, right? Those, that that whole component below 18,000 ringgit really gives those 40,000 ringgit bike runs for its money. This is my point of view. I think a bike sweet spot weight uh, is about 7.5 kg. Around 7 to 7.5 kg is a, is a good weight for a bike already. That's my point of view. Lah. Let's say a Polygon Helios, you can build up to about 7.5 kg. It's, it's doable with all the Dura Ace and stuff, but it's going to cost you more. I think the initial impression that I have is this saddle is so comfortable. The Sally Italia saddle is very comfortable, surprisingly comfortable. Okay, I'm, I'm surprised by the comfort of this Sally Italia saddle. That's number one, right? And I feel that the frame itself, going towards the frame, right? I just feel that this Polygon Helios has a very good ride quality. I feel that it's very comfortable, right? And I've tested many bikes from 7K to 70K. This bike doesn't feel anywhere at 10,000 ringgit. Okay, seriously. I feel that this frame comfort is actually very good. Let me explain to you what I mean by the frame, frame comfort. Uh. If I would say uh, drive a car, maybe I drive a Proton Satria or a Myvi or whatever, right? Or Polo, uh, uh, Volkswagen Polo. If I drive at 200 km per hour, I feel that it's very exciting, very fast. I can feel the speed, you know, it's very exciting. But if I would drive a BMW or a, 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 a Mercedes, right, those larger cars uh, that's heavier, I feel that I don't feel that I'm going fast, but when I look at the speedometer, it's going at 200 km per hour. So this is how I feel about the Polygon Helios, right? When I ride a, a, a sprinter's bike, and I'm not going to tell you the brand because I do, I'm trying not to be comparing brands and models and this and that, right? But if I try a lightweight bike, which I've tested before, when I accelerate at 40 km per hour or go at uh, 38 km per hour, I can feel the bike is going very fast, it's very exciting. I feel like I want to pump more to go faster, you know. It, that, that, that's how a, a, a sprinter's bike is. That's how a lively bike is. But on Polygon Helios, uh, like today when I was riding at 38 km per hour, I was pulling the, the group, right? I feel that I wasn't going fast. But when I look at the, my computer, uh, my bike computer, I was going at 38 km per hour saying that, hey, I'm going pretty fast, but I don't feel it. So this is what I'm trying to tell you. I feel that the Polygon Helios is a cruiser. It, um, by the way, I'm going to show you some of the PRs that I have uh, at the print screen around here, right? So today's ride, surprisingly, I have many PR, and that comes with almost three weeks of not cycling, okay? So I have many PR, and that's surprising. With so many PRs, uh, this shows that I, I don't feel I was going fast, but I was hitting the PRs. This is what I'm trying to explain to you, that this bike is a very comfortable bike, right? You want a comfortable bike to be able to travel long, uh, you know, in races or whatever. You want to end the ride fresh, not painful body. Right. You know, if you do a 100km ride uh, and the first 80km, uh, all the road vibration, uh, if you've vibrated your entire body, you're so tired already, you know. But on this bike, after today I did 80km, uh, I don't feel, I feel bonk, I feel the heat was killing me, but my body was still okay. 
right? I still feel that my, my, my body don't feel as lethargic or fatigued or whatever, but I have tremendous headache today on today's right because of the heat, right? And that is no blame on the bike itself, but this bike is actually not bad. And I will say that a 10,000 ringgit bike, I highly recommend it mainly because of the comfort and the ability to still be very stiff. This bike is stiff. If I want to show you later on the video, right? Look at the size of the bottom bracket. It's the size of the bottom bracket, really. Look at the size of that. That's huge. Let me put my palm there and see. Here, come see my palm. <laughs> it's ridiculously big. This is a huge bottom bracket. So this is where all your power transfer comes from. And it is a stiff bike. Uh. It's stiff. Uh. It's stiff. And look at the size of the, 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 the chain. The chain, what, what do you call this? The chain tubings. The entire frame is actually quite chunky, you know. So this creates a, actually a very stiff bike. Yeah. This big bottom bracket, I will say, is quite responsive. It's very responsive, to, even. You don't feel that this bike is sluggish or whatever. It's actually pretty responsive. Get me wrong, you know. Um, Poly, uh, T Polygon is sponsoring Team TSG and they've won many, many podiums uh, this year. They win so many races. This shows that this bike is a very capable bike. And at the price, I would say that Polygon actually created a flagship killer, seriously speaking, a value for money flagship killer. And I feel that when I'm going at speed, I, I feel that it's very stable. I will say that this bike is very stable uh, and very planted. I feel that when I'm cornering, when I'm taking turns and this and that, I feel that I have confidence with this bike. Uh, when crosswind is manageable, uh, I drove past some, lo uh, some lorry past me. I think crosswind is okay. So let's talk about the Polygon Helios. The things that I like. Uh. One, of the thing of the, one of the things that I like, if you look here, right, is the right here. Can you see? I like the way that this actually is quite adjustable. So most bikes, right, they come with the offset, but this one comes offset that you can actually adjust yourself, which is pretty cool. Uh. Like I, I wish most bi more bikes do that. Uh. One of the things that I like about Helos is this part. Uh. At least with that, that I can adjust my, my specific fit that fits me better. That's number one. And, and of course, nothing beats uh, nicely hidden cables. Uh. Right, everything's integrated, and this comes with the FSA handlebar and the stem, which can hide the cable quite nicely. Right, and it's mechanical, but this cable does show around this part here. If you can see here, let's see, it's focusing. Is it focusing? Okay, there you go. So you can see the cables coming out a bit in this area here, which is okay, not too bad. The important part is at least you have a clean cockpit from the top view here. So if you're if you're cycling, right, you really don't see the cables. That's pretty nice. That's impressive. For a 10,000 ringgit bike, uh, and the frame quality. Uh. And here's the bike. The only thing that probably if I would change uh, from this bike, right, would be the, some detail shots, by the way, the Polygon A8. I love this color, la. the matte color is so chanted. Eh? The matte color is so chanted. Look at it. Helios. Right, the only thing that I would probably change would be the handlebar. La. I find this handlebar a bit uncomfortable in the sense that it's a bit, I find it a bit too small. I find the grip here is a bit too small. For me, la, could be a personal preference. But maybe if I change a bigger, if I would buy this, I'd probably change this to a bigger uh, bar tape uh, or thicker a bit, la, make it more comfortable. La. Right, I'll get an arrow handlebar. <laughs> nah, no, I'll get a Vision Matron, la. I tell you, it's beautiful. La. Okay, let me show you how the bike looks like from this view, from the back. It is one arrow bike ray. Let me see. Sorry, a bit messy at the house. <laughs> Look at that bike, beautiful. Going to this part here. The streamlined profile, look at it, how slim it is. Huh, beautiful bike way. I don't know what you think about it, but I seriously think this is such a pretty bike. And for that price, uh, it's such a pretty bike. 
it will look even better. Actually, my saddle was a bit too low. I can increase it by about 5mm. And once I slam the stem, uh, if I would buy this bike, uh, I will slam the stem all the way down. This bike will look so aggressive and nice. Look at it. Beautiful. Focus it. So this is where they hide their... Oh. It's really quality stuff. Eh? This alone is so quality. It's like, this will last forever. It's a thick rubber. Alright, not some flimsy rubber that other bike brands that's about 50, 60,000 ringgit gives. This is actually very quality. And I tell you, Polygon is really uh, value for money in the sense that they really gives the power of consumer uh, to allow to buy a perf high performance bike at the price that is a bit more logical for many people. Uh. And you can see here size S, size S, and it's UCI. <laughs> Well, does it matter UCI? I mean, I don't. I, I mean, for Polygon Hilux, it's important lah, because they do enter races with this bike. But as a consumer, I think it doesn't really matter for me lah. ACX Carbon. I like the logo. Logo looks good lah. Check out the logo. Well, that's it. I think overall, this bike is nice. I know some of you been saying, uh, Melvin, everything also you say nice. Uh, then might as well we buy everything. <laughs> well, it's not true. I mean, to be honest, some of these products are really good. And I won't say, you, I, I won't say that you buy everything that I'm set, telling you you should buy. La. I think end of the day, it's really up to you. La. I'm just saying that if you really do consider getting this bike, uh, it's actually a quite, quite a good bike. Uh. There you go. Nice view. Uh. I like this tall head, head, head tube area here. This tall head tube area here means I can slam this uh, handlebar lower and make the bike even more aggressive. Currently, I can't slam this handlebar because I can't chop it, it's, it's on the loan. But I believe that if I reduce this handlebar more, I can go a bit faster and because I'm more aero. And overall for this bike, I would say if you are budgeting yourself 15,000 ringgit uh, and you want to buy a bike, uh, I say that this is a no-brainer bike to buy. And if you are but if you're going if you're out there looking for a bike to buy uh, and your budget is 8,000 ringgit, I would say top up more and get this bike. Seriously, you won't regret it. Because I will say that this bike is stiff enough. It doesn't even feel like a 10,000 ringgit bike. To be honest, I really can't tell this tell, tell the difference between this bike and a 30, 40, 50,000 ringgit bike. I can't tell the difference. Besides the weight. Okay, maybe I feel this bike is not as lively as my other bikes where that is about 60, 70,000 ringgit but again, this could be due to the weight of this bike I upgrade my, my saddle, I change to Dura Ace which my bikes are using Dura Ace I change the cockpit to the Vision I believe that I can drop this bike weight to about 7.7 .7 kg and if I drop this bike weight to 7.7 .7 to 7.5 kg around there lah, okay, plus minus I feel that maybe then the bike will be lively again Right, but at 8 kg bike, this is no slouch. Okay, look at the PR, this is no slouch. So, the speed. So, this is the 50 mm entity wheel, uh, the hub. Wow. Comes with 11, 28 and a semi-compact. Uh. Uh, highly recommended for the price. Uh, and then, when you talk about bikes, right, I always say this, you know, a lot of people ask me, hey Melvin, should I buy this bike? Should I buy this bike? What do you think about this bike? I think end of the day, right, buy the bike which you think looks good. Don't care about the performance, the stiffness, the aerodynamic. If the bike that you like uh, looks good and it fits your riding style, right, all aero, all climbing or whatever. And the bike, I think on the day, the bike must look good for you first. Right? And to be honest, the Polygon Helios is a local. When today I ride with uh, Ryan, Angeline and the gang, right? They told me, and also Shira, the smiley girl cyclist. They told me that this bike looks great. The color looks good on the bike. This bike doesn't look cheap at all, right? And it goes so well with this Zentis wheel set. The only thing, I think the only complaint I have for this bike will be the weight. But if I upgrade the, the, the handlebar to the Vision Metron handlebar, I upgrade the saddle, which is the alloy saddle from Sanitalia, uh, and I upgrade the Dora Ace, I think that I won't complain about the weight already. Mm -hmm. right? 
I think I'm giving it the high rating because of the value. Really, 11,000 ringgit below, uh, this is such a good value for the bike. This bike is a flagship killer. <laughs> Thank you Polygon Helios for loaning this bike and allowing me to experience uh, this Polygon Helios bike which is their flagship bike. Uh, and I would say that it's a good deal and I can see why Team TSG is winning races. Um, maybe because of the comfort, I would say. I would say the bike is stiff enough, but I would say the comfort will probably help them a bit. In the sense that when you feel fre fresh at the finishing line, uh, you still can put you can tekan some more. <laughs> so that's all for today's video on the Polygon Helios.